First Corinthians 9 and 7. I got a few more scriptures on the close. I just want to share with y'all some scriptures where y'all will have some, some knowledge about this money. Because Hollywood has messed people up. 9 and 7. Amen. It's 2 Corinthians 9 and 7. I'm sorry. And it reads this. Y'all have to go there. Every man according as he purposed in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Amen. So anything we do in this life, world, God wants us to be excited about doing it. And if it's a shut-in we're doing, man, let's be excited about doing that shut-in. And if it's about prayer, if it's about church, it's about giving a tithe and an offering and going an extra mile for God. Give that thing with your heart open, not grudgingly, holding it back something that belongs to God, which is yourself. Amen. Sometimes we spiteful ourselves, but we want so much prosperity. Don't let Hollywood fool you, trick you, bamboozle you, lead you astray. God will multiply us. But we got that. A, a closed hand can't receive anything. A closed mouth can't be fed. Mm -hmm. We want to constantly hoard what belongs to God. You just got things stacked up on top of one another. You can't even give God time to breathe on your life. Mm -hmm. You won't even open your mind and your heart up to receive something new from the word. You receive something from the word and you'll reject it, saying, Oh, that ain't about me. No, can't be talking about me. Yeah, ain't talking about you. If you're not a cheerful giver. Amen. And the Bible says in verse 8, and, and, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you that ye always have all sufficiency and all things may abound to every good work. See, when you open up your hands and your heart and your time, see, he, he will multiply you. Verse 8. And you're wondering why things aren't going right and really smooth in your life. How close are you to God? Man, it, it's just heart preaching to, 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 to people that don't understand their purpose. Then you can't blame nobody for not doing what you're called to do because it was your, it's your call. Amen. I can't operate in Tim's call. Tim got to operate in his own call. But if he's saying he's walking with me, I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna uh, uh, work and he sit down. That ain't gonna happen. Amen. That's like on a football team. Everybody's standing at the end zone, right there, right there on the uh, 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 line of scrimmage, and nobody moving but the quarterback. Mm. Amen. Who gonna catch the passes? Who gonna do the blocking? Who's gonna do the tackling? Somebody got to score a touchdown, amen? Amen. Come on. When you see cheerleaders cheering, there's not no one cheer. The rest of them have to help build a pyramid to get the point across. Amen. It's a team, y'all. Mm -hmm. Jesus, if he wanted all the recognition and all the credit, he wouldn't have chose 12. Mm. They're doing the 12 during the times of his ministry. He had to shake them up. He said, how, he said you, a little faith. How long do I have to be with you before you get the point? This man preached. This man preached and taught them about how he was going to have to die and go to the cross. And all of them said, but you should have been well enough equipped to be ready to move after the, the, he, he ascended to God. Mm -hmm. And when he showed you, to, showed himself to you over 33 times among other people witnessing that it was him when he showed you the holes in his hands, and the marks in his side and the holes in his feet. They still didn't believe it. Amen? Then he vanished out of their sight. How much more do we want God to be with us before we apply our faith? Before we stop being lazy and let God use us? Amen. First thing we want to say to a person they talk to us about church. Oh, there ain't no preacher. Why not be a preacher? Noose, you proud to say you're a construction worker and you ain't building nothing. <laughs> Amen. You can't even pass code on it, but you're talking about you're a construction worker. 
You can't even line up the studs in the wall. Amen. Amen. Come on. Y'all told me one time we was having a meeting. Marriage jacked up and, 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 and broken in half now. He and his wife been separated probably um, um, probably over eight years now. And it was coming around us and everybody was uh, 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 praying and God was uh, directing us toward, more toward ministry and he was putting people in our lives that needed to be a uh, part of life changers and, and needed their marriages to flow more uh, on a godly level than on a secular level. And we was all talking about church and, and, and they said to this particular person who he looked like as a preacher, I ain't no preacher. Ain't nobody gonna make me no preacher. Well, you ain't no good husband. Somebody need to make you a good husband. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, I ain't no preacher. Why not? I'm like, I'm one. Why not? Mm. And you and your wife are arguing over a cell phone. Who can see phone? Who phone when it rings? <laughs> Crazy is that? You pay the bill. You answer the phone. Amen. That's how I roll in my house. Mm -hmm. If I can't answer the phone, I ain't paying no bill. Amen. If I can't, if I can't go to the mailbox, won't no mail come to the house? Because <laughs> I'm gonna tear the mailbox down. Amen. I run over it <laughs> in my truck. <laughs> Amen. I demand to be the boss. <laughs> Amen. I ain't going to hit my wife, though. Amen. Some nigga rose crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and, and the other fuck fella that was hanging around the group, his wife was telling them what to do. And she didn't want him talking to me. He been not rubbing my back at night unless I asked him. I said, nah, hold up now. <laughs> 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 I said, man, you gonna take that? They thought I was picking. I ain't rubbing my back. We ain't doing nothing unless I feel like it. I'm working all day. I'm like, man, you need to get some control in your house. Shoot. Man, I've been like the Tasmanian devil. <laughs> Cutting through everything in here. <laughs> Y'all know how the Tasmanian devil do? He go through the wall, the bricks, the dirt. <laughs> you tear up everything. <laughs> Woo! Amen. Talking about what I can't rub on. Please. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 <laughs> Woo, okay. We did, okay. Let every man purpose in his heart. I got a few more points. First Thessalonians 5 and 17, it say, pray without ceasing. If you want something from God, if it's money, if it's better time with your family, if it's a better job, Whatever it is that's concerning you, if you want your unsaved family members to get saved, you have to pray without ceasing. So whenever the doors of the house of God open, especially when you know the presence of God is there, you need to show up on time and be in attendance. If it's just for five minutes of your time, you need to show up and say, God, see that I'm faithful to your word and your call. Amen. Prayer without ceasing will open doors, man, will change lives and transform the people that's in our lives that's not saved. Yes, amen. I have more unsaved folks in my family than I'm praying for that I need to be saved. I told somebody, I need to stay in God's face, man, because yes. I have family members that's not saved that I want them to get saved before they end up going to hell. And sometimes it's the ones that's closer to you, siblings. They say they say, but why you still shacking me 15 years? Mm. He ain't married you yet. But they don't want you to say nothing about it. Why you buying this man something and he ain't helping you? Every time you try, why this man always being used by a woman that don't want him? Mm. You tell if a woman wants you, because she's going to say hands off, but rings on. Amen. 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 Is she real? No woman gonna let you, or a real woman ain't just gonna let you lay down with her and come up to coat her and, and, and doing what you want to do to her without making her your wife. Not no real, not a, not a not a real woman. Amen. Not a godly woman. Not a virtuous Amen. woman. Amen. Now you can get a little junk, what they call them. Amen. Amen. She ain't wife material. Amen. Soon as you get that job going over the road, you better put a spy camera in your hallway. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Amen. Amen. You might be on snap. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But what I'm saying is, you're not going to be able to trust her because she's not going to be faithful. Right. She ain't praying, you ain't praying, he ain't going to be faithful because as soon as he out on the road and something come across and he feel like uh, going outside the marriage, he is. Mm -hmm. 
Your children like these ones sitting here, they're going to be radical doing what they want to do. And you're going to wonder why your eight-year-old daughter wearing makeup and lipstick when you get home. Because mm. your wife been gone Amen. all the time. Amen. Now you're wondering how she learned how to cook pancakes and fried chicken. Because she had to cook for herself. Because your wife been gone with uh, Jody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jody got your girl and gone. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think you, you ain't going to pray with your wife and you feel like Jody ain't going to come. Don't be no fool now. I know, I, I met a guy said he loved women. And he don't care the size, the tone, the color, nothing. He, he can find out something about a woman he like, even, even just her toes. That's right. We so confident that we got our wives and our women all under our arms. I'm telling you. Watch out now. I'm telling you. Some men don't, uh, no hoes barred. <laughs> Open season on deer, deer season. They don't care if it's a buck up or whatever. <laughs> what they call them, five horns, what they call them? Those deer that had those big, big horns, like six, seven horns. I don't know, y'all probably don't hunt. <laughs> Amen. 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 Young men here hunt these women, though. I talk about some rear end, they don't know about that. Oh, yeah, but I like that side. <laughs> Uh-huh. I ain't stupid now. <laughs> uh, Hebrews 5 and 13. It is any is it any among you afflicted? Let him pray. So when you afflicted, y'all, we got to pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, Deuteronomy 8, 17 through 18. He the Lord. I got to go there, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be done. And y'all go to Philippians. Uh, 419, that God will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. When are we going to get this, church? Amen. Stop being so easy on folks. Tell them folks, y'all need to go to church. As soon as they say, well, you know the church is ain't right past this. Won't you go to church and find out? <laughs> now y'all go to the church, man. Them folks, them hypocrites in the church. Well, you been a hypocrite right now. You won't even go to church. So what are you? Man, ain't nobody a whole bunch of sinners in the church. Okay, but what are you? You live with a man and ain't married to him, and I'm inviting you to church, and you try to tell me ain't nobody hypocrites in church. You a fornicator? Why they so hard on the church? Tell you the truth. I don't want to go preach it. I don't want to bust some money. How do you know? You may be the first one that walked through the door of the church, and we probably know that you poor. Broke, disgusted, and can't be trusted. We have to take up an offer from you to keep you from stealing the, 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 the uh, candle stand right up for you. Amen. Amen. How about what the church ain't? We'll be the main people to bless you. You come here walking and leave here ride. Mm -hmm. The main church folk, you got three neighbors living next to you. You got three cars and, they, and ain't driving number one. It won't give you not one of them. You want to talk about the church folk? Amen. 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 <coughs> Like folk like that. You know, my nerve. Amen. I don't want to talk about the church. You don't even, you don't even go to church. Amen. And if you came, you wouldn't know where to find Genesis 15. Well, Genesis in the back of the Bible. See how lost you are? That's why you needed to be here. We want to talk about the church. You know, them preachers ain't right. Okay, it reads this. And I took the two tablets. Am I right? No, no, no. To move in the wrong place. Okay. Deuteronomy man, 8, 17 through 18. And thou says then, heart, my power and might, not by power, not by might of my head. And thou says, in thy heart, my power and thy might of my hand have gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth thee the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which is which he swore to thy forefathers as it is to this day. See, he gives you the power and the ability. See, for those who call themselves the seed of Abraham. Amen? See, you are blessed. You have the power. And the ability to get wealth. So you don't have to do anything underhanded to make money other than what God has called you to this life to do. Mm -hmm. See, there's a business you can run. 
that will make you so much money that you will make enough to set enough aside for your retirement at a young age. But when people walk through life and they just put God second, they miss it. See, there are doors.